Our channel is all about performance and how a car makes you feel once you start driving it. Well, today there is a car with me that well actually doesn't do either of that. This over here is the Citroen C3 and it's not the sportiest car around, it's not the most exciting car around and that's for a very good reason. I have been daily driving this particular car for the last 3 to 4 days and I'm going to tell you my experience with the Citroen C3 Shine. For some reason today it has decided to rain on us. As you can see the b-roll shots are bright uh, in the sun and it was super hot and just a couple of hours later yeah it's pouring but nonetheless we're going to continue the shoot. Now why is it a car that is not very engaging? Well I'll come to that in just a moment. Let's just quickly talk about the looks because I think so that is one of the highlights of the Citroen C3. I think it is a very fantastic looking car. I just love the design language that Citroen use and it's a very unique and very distinctive design that you know not other cars in the segment really have. This thing competes against stuff like the Tata Punch, the Hyundai Exter and all of those cars have a very mundane and very bland design language in my opinion. Whereas this thing looks super funky, it looks super interesting and yeah, it's a very interesting and exciting car to look at. Starting from the front, as you can see you have the signature Citroen headlight design, you have two different uh, DRLs and below that you have the headlight. This thing is the shine variant so it gets a couple of things as standard. For example, you get fog lights, you have these alloy wheels over here which are diamond cut and you have electronically adjustable ORVMs on the outside. This particular car has to be the dual tone variant so you get a different color on the top and on the A pillars and stuff, even the ORVMs themselves. I think so it's a very nice looking car, super compact and I think so it's definitely much more attractive to look at compared to the other cars in the segment. This over here is what Citroen calls the PureTech 82 engine. Not the most interesting engine to talk about. It's a 1.2 liter naturally aspirated 3 cylinder engine. Makes roughly 80 bhp and 150 newton meters of torque. Not the most powerful thing out there. Uh, if you're looking for a car which is for city use or urban use, I guess it's alright but I would still choose the 1.2 litre turbocharged car. I would pay that premium for that engine because it's a little bit more engaging to drive, it has more torque, you know, you don't have to work to do an overtake or go above a hill whereas in this you need to shift down or you know give extra throttle for it to get to get that much momentum whereas in the 1.2 litre turbo engine that's not an issue at all. I drive a 1.8 litre stage 3 330 bhp Skoda Octavia so maybe my perception of power and speed is a little bit skewed but still I was driving this thing in the city I was just using it carefree and I have to say in terms of that the whole car in general is very very easy to drive you don't really have to think about it you know the gearbox is okay it's all right nothing really to talk about but in general it's just a very carefree driving experience and that's what I like about it. In the interior well there is not much going on you just have this really big infotainment system in the middle which I have to say works pretty all right it doesn't really hang on you although I have been having some issues with Apple CarPlay from time and time again but overall it's a very easy system to use there are nice big icons the display is all right it has good graphics you don't really have to think much while using it one thing that might be annoying especially for the passenger is the lack of a volume knob or a volume slider or something like that everything is on the screen so maybe that is something that might be annoying but when it comes to the driver I do have a volume switch over here on the steering. Talking about the steering, you have a nice flat bottom steering which looks really nice. Citroen logo in the middle and you have a digital instrument cluster in that sense. The only thing digital about it is the speedometer, the fuel gauge and the engine oil temperature gauge and that's pretty much it. There's literally nothing else in the instrument cluster. Which is kind of annoying, they should have at least given a tachometer, you know, just to fill the space up. But maybe that is something that will come out with the facelift, at least I hope, because this area definitely needs some improvement. Some things that I like is the amount of space in the interior. It is a very spacious car with a lot of cubby holes, a lot of place to keep random stuff all over the interior. You have cubby holes in the center console, the door cards, you have space underneath the handbrake, you have space in the rear. So yeah, it's a very 
utilitarian uh, interior one more thing that i really like is that they've not messed around with the ac controls at all straight up they just have three knobs super simple to use you don't really have to use any sort of uh, brain to you know just operate that whereas in some other cars go through menus and all of that super annoying they've kept it simple and i really like that about it which might not be other people's perception of this car they might think it's you know it doesn't have any features anything of that sort but you know it's decently built it doesn't really rattle on the inside whatever is rattling is stuff that you keep inside the cubby holes or the glove box and stuff so yeah it's a well put together car with not a lot of features but at least what it has works really well coming to the rear seats of the Citroen C3 again it's pretty all right for a sub 4 meter hatchback crossover thing you have loads of knee room uh even if you're taller than me you will easily fit into the back the headroom is also pretty nice the seats are also very comfortable in the back the hump over here in the middle also is pretty workable five people can easily manage to you know like slide in and try to uh fit into the rear seats of the Citroen C3 and a couple of funky touches some french touches that Citroen has is uh there are no window switches on the door card instead you get it over here in the middle which is kind of funky kind of annoying also if you're not used to it but i'm pretty sure if you're going to buy this car you know that's something that you and your passengers will get used to again you have a cubby hole over here for a water bottle some more in the door card you have this space also over here to keep some stuff more storage over here in the front seats back pocket and yeah i think it's a very roomy interior you also get a usb charging port over here two usb charging ports in fact down there and one more thing that i forgot to mention is that the Citroen C3 Shine comes with a standard rear view facing camera for the reverse gear and let's talk about how the Citroen C3 Shine is to drive off the bat well it's nothing really special i mean it's not something that will put a big smile on your face it doesn't have any sort of wow factor you know it's just a very good car and that's that's not bad because the thing is Citroen hasn't made the C3 Shine to you know like move your soul or be an enthusiast car it is supposed to be a very nice daily driver that is supposed to be very comfortable in the city and you know just be practical and not give you too many problems now i can't really tell you about what sort of problems arise in the Citroen C3 because well i haven't uh, owned it or i don't have it for a long enough period of time but uh, as far as the comfort side of things go well it doesn't get much better than the C3 Citroen is known for their suspension and the C3 is no different. I don't think any car even two segments above this car has such a good suspension setup. I mean it is so plush, it is so comfortable and it really shows the suspension expertise that Citroen has. Time and time again in different different models. I think so there was a, co a car called the DS1. I might be wrong. I'm not sure but they have been revolutionary in the suspension segment uh, Citroen and yeah the C3 is a very very comfortable car and that is down to of course the suspension and these lovely seats as well then made out of fabric very comfortable and yeah they hold me pretty well i'm not uh, that big of a person i'm 58 with 70 kg of weight or something like that and as you can see i'm not very wide in that sense so it's a pretty comfortable seat for me coming to the engine this is a 1.2 liter pure tech naturally aspirated three cylinder engine and yeah again nothing much to talk about uh, it makes around 80 bhp and 115 newton meters of torque yeah it is slightly underpowered in that sense i would definitely recommend you to take the 1.2 liter turbocharged engine because that is pretty good for this car i mean you get a lot of punch in it you get a lot of torque and you don't have to you know keep on shifting gears in order to do an overtake or you know go up a slope or anything of that sort so definitely go for the turbocharged engine instead of the na engine some things that i think citroen should improve in terms of the driving aspect is probably the gear shifts they're a little you know all over the place sometimes they slot in sometimes they don't and yeah i think so the main drawback of this particular car is the engine if it was a turbocharged car i think so it would have been really nice to drive but in this naturally aspirated variant i think so it's a little lackluster i drove the c3 air cross and that was very nice to drive because it had the 1.2 liter turbocharged engine 
and that felt pretty nice. So I'm guessing this is a smaller car with that exact same engine will actually feel pretty peppy to drive around town. Unfortunately, my time with the Citroen C3 Shine is coming to an end. And as much as I said that it's not a fun car to drive, it's not engaging to drive, well, that is the best part of it. It is such a carefree and easy user experience. You literally forget the thing that you have to do while driving it, which is driving it, because it is so easy to drive. Uh, even in tight traffic situations, the tight streets of the city center in Pune, which is where I took it during my weekend, this thing was super easy to drive. I mean, you can park it in tight spaces, you can slither through traffic. I mean, it is so convenient to drive. And moreover, I think it is a very handsome looking car. The interior, although might not be feature packed with, you know, crazy sound system, AQI, whatnot. I mean, 360 degree camera, whatever it is that you are attracted towards, whatever it has, works really well and that is the most important. I think so a lot of other manufacturers uh, try to market their products with tons and tons of features which first of all you don't use half of the time and they don't work half of the time well that's pretty pointless. Instead get something like the Citroen C3 Shine because this is a very nice proposition. I like the way it's built, I like the way it looks, I like the way that you can use it in the city. That's it from my end. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram, check out our website as well, thedriversup.com and I'll catch you in the next one.